But I'm not that late, am I? Sorry. Somebody threw themselves on the track again. I don't blame them. There's so many delays. <laughs> hey, what a great way for us to recognize each other. What a great oh. idea. Although I think it would have been pretty hard to miss you underneath that huge clock. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. What, are, uh... what are we doing in terms of saying hello? I've never known. I've not what, what a pitch. Is it a handshake? Oh, is it a hug? I mean, is it formal? What? You know what? We're adults. You know, let's just go in. Oh, too soon for that. Nope. Hello there. <laughs> so, um, oh my God, that's not your emergency exit phone call already, is it? Because, um, you know, I haven't had a chance to use any of my, my best lines yet. <laughs> that wasn't one of them, if you were worried. I'll tell you what, listen, I'll handle this, madam. Uh, hello, caller. Yes, we, we have met, and I am not a complete psychopath, and we've really hit it off, and uh, she will call you later with all the gory details. So, thank you for calling, and goodbye. <laughs> Done. All right, so, book, check, and um, clock, check, and blind date, <laughs> check. <laughs> So usually when, I, in this situation, I would say something and then maybe you'd say something back and then we talk a little bit about what we're going to do and exchange ideas, you know, sort of quid pro quo, Clarice. <laughs> in hindsight, that wasn't the best impression to do on a first date because it, it brings to mind... Anyway, listen, I'm talking. I'm talking a lot and I know you can sense it. So I'm going to just keep going with it and I'm going to start the bidding with a drink on London's fashionable South Bank. Uh, so, um... As the book says, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I am waiting for you. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Shall we? Uh, after you, my lady. 